the universe's first Mach 4 fighter, up to fight satellites and attack aircraft carriers, even missiles have to be out of reach. Many people say that once the Russian aviation industry's imperial sword is sheathed, the history of the world's air wars will even undergo a radical change. These people also said that once such a change occurs, the US, F-22 and F-35 will even become a pile of scrap metal, all because of the Russian sword, which is the MiG-41 fighter. In 2021, Russia announced the research program of MiG-41, which once caused the world to be shocked. Although many people say that Russia's research on this fighter is to obtain a replacement for the MiG-31, but in fact, in a way, the emergence of the MiG-41 can be said to be the Su-57's move to mend the sheep. Although the Su-57 in the five generations of fighters still belongs to the prestigious generation, but this benchmark F-22 appeared in the fifth generation fighter, in the case of 14 years later than the F-22, has countless advantages, but because of the lack of funds, the Russian science and technology stagnation, industrial production capacity is backward and so on a number of reasons, in many important parameters of the field, and so on, were F-22, completely bombarded to the dregs, especially in the five generations of fighters rely on stealth performance, Su-57 aircraft surface because of the lack of fine workmanship, radar reflection area is larger, the engine fails to cover the nozzle, infrared characteristics are obvious, has long been spit out as only three generations of fighters, can compete with the existence of stealth capabilities, and in terms of scale, even if the F-22 because of the high cost of production, forced to stop production, facing the embarrassment of flying a plane in the air, the ground less than a plane, Su-57, but even the F-220, have not reached. How can such an embarrassing weapon compete with the F-22s? What's more, in addition to the F-22, the United States has another famous five-generation fighter F-35, which is also Su-57, is difficult to fight the deadly killer. Therefore, after experiencing the embarrassment of Su-57, have a performance far more than Su-57 and F-22, F-35 can fight against the five-generation fighter, has also become in the Russian Air Force Command, and the Kremlin in front of the most urgent problem? In the end, the task of solving this problem was given to an important Russian aircraft manufacturer, the MiG Aircraft Group. The MiG Aircraft Group has lived up to its reputation by launching the MiG-41, which it has in mind. How strong is the MiG-41? Although the military fans quoted at the beginning of the article is too exaggerated, but between these exaggerated comments, but still enough to let all the people in a peephole to experience the unique charm of this warplane. According to public information on the internet, the MiG-41 are the world's first Mach 4 supersonic fighter, equivalent to 1.5 km per second, which means that its speed not only breaks the threshold of almost all the world's air defense systems, and the vast majority of missiles can only be followed in the wake of his ass, tasting its exhaust emissions. It is also capable of anti-satellite warfare, which means that it is able to fly into 100 kilometers of adjacent space, only to such an altitude. The weapons launched by the warplane can fly out of the Earth towards space. This ability, among all contemporary aircraft, can be said to be a godlike existence. At the same time, it is also able to turn into the field of naval warfare, attacking the enemy's aircraft carriers. Considering that modern naval warfare patterns often involve aircraft flying at low altitude against the sea, breaking through the firepower of air defense systems, this shows that in the low altitude track, the performance of the MiG-41 is also amazing. And considering this weapon, it could also fire lasers like the Cosmic Man from the Sci-Fi movie. Those rare missiles that could catch up with it in terms of speed might just be sent to the scrapyard when they encountered it. With a weapon like this, it's no wonder that so many military enthusiasts think it's the kind of weapon that will change the history of world aviation. However, when you read the above paragraph, the heart will not have doubts. The setting of this warplane is not too advanced. Advanced to not like a product of reality, but more like the existence of science fiction, associated with the fact that this warplane is still under development. Many people are questioning whether this weapon can be developed successfully or not, which is a big problem in itself. Take for example the MiG-41's proud speed, it is well known that supersonic airplanes are bound to generate extremely high heat when flying. So, what kind of material can maintain the stealth performance at the same time, but also maintain the heat of the aircraft to stabilize it? With Russia's current level of technology, this all still seems to be unknown. On top of that, 
The huge overload brought about by supersonic maneuvers is far beyond the human body's tolerance limit, even if the advanced intelligent flight control system is used to reduce the burden on the pilot, it is still unknown whether the pilot's life can be safeguarded under such extreme flight conditions. Third, even if Russia converts this fighter into a drone, thus circumventing the problem of pilot survival, this weapon is theoretically capable of attacking carriers at low altitude, but also has the ability to fly near the junction of the sky and space. Launching attacks on space targets, this is certainly a pipe dream for existing engine technology. Considering these factors, many people feel that the advanced performance of the MiG-41 is nothing more than bragging by Russian military fans. Even if it is not bragging, Russia really built with such a heavenly a god, changed the history of human aviation, then as it will completely change between the United States and Russia, increasingly imbalanced comparison of aviation capabilities. The answer is no, because this warplane, if it can really do all of the above, then from the national financial point of view, it can only prove one thing, that is, this thing is really expensive. Considering that the performance is far from so tough F-2-2, are because of the high cost, so that the United States can hardly afford, and ultimately forced to close the production line, then the cost of this weapon, and how many times the F-2-2, then consider the fact that after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the Russian military industrial strength has declined rapidly, as well as the Su-57 several years of development, the scale is far less than a fraction of the F-2-2. Even if this weapon is successfully built, its numbers will probably be less than the Su-57. Want to rely on these numbers of even 20 are difficult to maintain the number of warplanes to dominate the world, is tantamount to a fool's errand? But despite this, there are still countless military fans who hope that Russia will be able to build this fighter. After all, the world can't imagine how cool a craft that can fire lasers and fly into space would be.